It's six o'clock on Saturday, the 6th of May. Today, a day of destiny. After 74 years in waiting, today Charles will be crowned king in a centuries-old ceremony watched by billions across the world. And here at Westminster Abbey, many thousands of people will be outside the Abbey hoping to get a glimpse of the King and the Queen Consort as they arrive here with the many heads of state and other VIPs. Bearing the weight of history, the hopes of a nation rest on Charles and Camilla's shoulders as the country comes together in celebration. Party at the palace, the Prince and Princess of Wales join the King, Queen and world leaders in a glittering Buckingham Palace reception on Coronation Eve. Our reporters are around the country as the United Kingdom tune in to see the new monarch crowned. We're on the Mall, all the tents have been packed away and thousands of people are piling in to get ready for the coronation. But where is Harry? The Duke of Sussex will be visibly absent, according to reports, and could even be on a plane back to L.A. before the royals have even had lunch. A very good morning to you. I'm Stephen Dixon. And I'm Ellie Costello, and we are live from Buckingham Palace for this special edition of Breakfast on GB News on Coronation Day. Well, coronations are full of traditions dating back to 1066. I wonder if the crowds were cheering quite as loudly <laughs> as they are already this morning back in 1066. But anyway, with all that history, all that tradition, the coronation of King Charles III will be no exception.